Hi, I'm Elaine Gruen. I'm the Curator of Education at Zoo America. I'm standing in front of the Rosie at Spoonbill exhibit, which is located in the Southern Swamps building. From a distance, a Rosie at Spoonbill might be confused with a flamingo due to its pink color. Upon closer inspection, the Spoonbill has very distinct differences. Spoonbills have pink legs, they have pale featherless heads, and of course they have that flat spoon-shaped bill, which is why they get their name. A spoonbill is a wading bird, and they use their long legs to walk slowly through the water, and they put their beak, or bill, into that water and sweep it back and forth. It's very sensitive, and when the bill touches food in the water, it snaps shut. They love to eat things like crustaceans, minnows, small frogs, tadpoles, aquatic insects, and pretty much any small animal that they can find in and around the water. Spoonbills depend on their food to get their color, and that pink color is due to the nutrients in the food that they eat. If they don't eat the proper diet, they actually lose their pink coloration. Spoonbills can be found throughout the southeast along the coasts. This is a bird that does live in a wetland type of habitat. They can also be found through Central America and down into South America. In the late 1800s, the roseate spoonbill numbers dropped very low, pretty much due to overhunting for their beautiful pink feathers. The pink feathers became very valuable um, in the fashion industry. People wanted to have those feathers as a decorative ornament in hats, and they wanted to use them as fans. Protection efforts helped to reestablish nesting colonies, and their numbers have since rebounded. Mm -hmm.